Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about push down automata second method. That so if I talk about the formal definition of push down automata, push down automata is a seven tuple machine where Q is a finite set of states, sigma is a finite set of input alphabets, delta is a transition function, Q0 is the initial or start state, F is the set of final or accepting states, Z0 is a starting stack symbol in tau and tau is a finite set of stack alphabets. We are already accustomed to these five tuples in finite automata and the two new tuples which have been included are Z0 and tau. An automata is a finite automata with stack. It reads input symbol one at a time. Acceptance can be by final state or by empty stack. It is assumed that symbols at the bottom of the stack that is the last symbol in the stack is Z0 and is allowed to observe the symbols at top of the stack and base its transition on current state where it, the machine is right now, the input symbol and the symbol on top of the stack. If we talk about the transition function delta represented by Q A Z0 leads to P A. What does all this stands for? Here Q is the present state of the machine. A is the input on the tape. Q, Z0 is the symbol on top of the stack. P is the new state of the machine and alpha is the string of stack symbols. So if I say that we have transition from Q1 to Q2, we have three inputs. One is the current state represented by Q. U represents the remaining inputs and S represents the current stack contents. So if I have a push operation represented by Q0, 0 as the input, Z0 that means the last element of the stack leads to Q0, 0, Z0 this means that a push operation is being performed that means 0 is being pushed on the stack. On the other hand if we have Q0, 0, Z0 leads to Q1, 0, Z0 that means we have a transition from state Q0 to Q1 and the symbol 0 is pushed onto the stack on reading the symbol 0 from the input tape. Likewise if we talk about the pop operation, in pop operation if we have pop operation on same state that is from Q0 to Q0 itself, it is represented by transition function having epsilon which indicates that we have when the tape reads input 1, the symbol on the top of the stack should be 0 and Q0 epsilon means that on reading 1 from the tape, 0 should be popped from the stack. Likewise, we have sigma Q0 1 0 is Q1 epsilon. This means that we are having a straight transition when we are moving from state Q0 to Q1 and pop operation is taking place where on reading input 1 on top of the stack the element which is popped should be 0. We have two type of push down automata, non-deterministic push down automata and deterministic push down automata. Corresponding to a single input read on the tape there can be two moves, push the symbol on the stack and pop the symbol from the stack. On the other hand, in deterministic automata, we have only one move corresponding to every single input. We can push or pop the symbol from the stack. Now we will talk about designing of a push down automata for a and b n such that n is greater than or equal to 1. What are the intuitions behind the design of this machine? We want that machine should go to accept state if number of a is equal to number of b. So we will perform push operation up to the point when we read all a. They will go on to the stack. Once we start reading B, we will start the pop operation and we will pop all the elements and the, from the stack and the elements which are popped should be A compulsively. When all the input on the tape is read, that is when the tape is empty, machine should move to the final state. That means there should be no element left on the stack and machine will move to final state. Now if I talk about designing of this step by step design of push on automata for A and B N will have Whenever A comes, push it onto the stack. Initially, the stack has element Z0. So, on the start state Q0, we will have A, Z0. Top of the stack has Z0. We read input A and we push that symbol. So, we have A, Z0. Likewise, if top of the stack has A 
and we read input a it will be a a double a now when we start reading b we start with the pop operation that we read b we pop a from the stack state change takes place at this particular point and likewise we keep on reading b and we keep on popping a of the stack when tape is empty that means when we come across delta on the tape which is the end marker the stack should be empty and machine should go to the final state so on reading epsilon which is indicated by delta we should have z naught on the stack the stack is empty and machine goes to the final state so this is how we design the machine for a n b n now we will see the traversal on state q naught when we have a on these tape the operation being performed is read a top of the stack has z naught push a on the stack read next a push it onto the stack read third a push that a on the stack now we have three a we come across b trace of this machine is given a bottom of every slide when we have this first b we change we pop this from the stack we move to next state again we come across b we are on q1 state we again perform a pop operation we are left with single a on the stack we again perform a read operation on getting b we pop the symbol of the stack and ultimately we reach last state that means when the tape is empty when we read empty on the tape we have stack is empty and we reach we move to the q2 state so this is how push on automata for a n b n works this is in id that is instantaneous description for a n b n such that n is greater than or equal to 1 and this is transition function for a and b and such that n is greater than or equal to 1 this machine should not accept the input when number of a are greater than number of b because this is the machine which is designed for a n equal to b n initially when we come across a same operations will be performed that means first a push on the stack second a push on the stack third a push on the stack perform pop operation and this operation will continue till the point we come across delta now when we come across delta since number of b is less than number of a we will have one extra a on the stack although the tape is empty so we will move to the crash state next we come to the scenario in which we have that number of b is greater than number of a in this case when we come across a we will push it onto the stack as in the previous case when we come across b we start pop operation and initially first a and then second a is popped of the stack corresponding to 2b read on the tape now the stack is empty but we still have 1b left on the tape so when we read b Corresponding to the B which is read, we should get A, but we don't get A on the stack. So, we can say that the machine has moved to the crash state. Now, we come to second question, designing a push on automata for WX, WR. What are the intuitions behind the design of this machine? Till the point we get W, where W is a string of zeros and ones or A and B, we should push all the elements. When we come across X, we should just perform a read operation neither pop nor push pop operation should be when once we have completed reading of x when the tape is empty the stack should also be empty so this is how we perform redesigning of push down automata for wx wr if we have a at the start we should push if we have b at the start we should push likewise if we have second first element is pushed if we have second element then we we can have a or we can have b as second element and on the top of the stack we might have a or b correspondingly we should push them onto the stack and this push operation should continue till the point we come across x when we have x on the tape we will not perform any operation we will just perform a read that means a tape head will move one point ahead if it is 
A on the stack on top of the stack A will remain if it is B on top of the stack B will remain and we will move further next we come we perform read operation if it is B the element which is popped from the stack should also be B if the element read on the tape is A the element which is popped of the stack should also be A so we have given B comma B slash epsilon A comma A slash epsilon that means we need to perform pop operation and Corresponding to B, B should move out. Corresponding to A, A should move out from the stack. And when the tape is empty, the stack should be empty and we should move to the final state. That is Q2. Now we will take the trace for WX, WR. As discussed in the previous sections, the, uh, at the bottom of every slide, we have given the trace. Initial element in this case is A. We read A, we push it onto the stack. We come across second element which is again A, we push it onto the stack. Now we come across B, we push it onto the stack till the point we reach X. Once we come across X, read operation is performed, no push, no pop. Once we have read X, we move to Q1 state. Now we start pop operation. At this point, if we come across B, we will pop it. If we come across A, the element which is popped from the stack should also be compulsorily A and we will pop it. Next, we come across last A, the tape, we will pop this and ultimately we have stack is empty and when the stack is empty, tape is empty, we move to the except state. So this is the designing of Poisson Automata for W, X, W, R. This is the ID for WXWR which we discussed with an example WABXBAE and this is the transition function. So we can summarize that the second important component of theory of computation pushed on automata has been discussed and we will be discussing few more examples in the coming slides. Thank you.